These are the Yalette Ladies Mid-Rise Ponte Knit Skinny Pant, size 10, in white, $32.99. Um, as I explained in the beginning, I am not trying anything on from this box. I am still not feeling well, but I wanted, I received it the day of my surgical procedure and it has to go back in three days. So rather than just send it back and not show you, I figured I would at least show you the items. I'm not a fan of Ponte knit pants in general and they are, you can see right through them. I, I don't care what you put on underneath, you're gonna see it. And I know you're supposed to wear like nude panties and things like that. But these are, if they would have been regular white denim jeans, I would have considered it for $32.99. But these are going back. These are the L squared women's capri pants, size 10 in blue, $24.99. Not a bad price. Um, they're just like right below your knee. And to me, that just feels weird. Like they need it to be just a little bit longer to be a capri. I don't think, I mean, maybe I'm wrong with capri pants, but I think they're supposed to be like more calf-ish. And these were directly like to the back, like almost to the crease of your back of your knee. And I am petite and maybe that's the, I can't imagine that they would be any longer for anybody that's taller than five foot one. So these are a no, they are kind of cute and you know, dark wash with a little bit of wear in the front. You can see that, but um, these will be going back also. This is the Zenana woven long sleeve chiffon blouse in a medium, which they consider a six to an eight. Navy twenty six ninety nine. Um, this is way too long. Long sleeves right now um, will not work. I wanted to see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see some of the detailing. I flipped the sleeve over. It has a pretty pearl, you know, button sleeve. I mean, it's cute. It has the like um, loop closure in the back with the little eyelet opening. This is, and it is lined with more like, um, feels like t-shirty material, which is a little odd to me, um, but this is just a no. Um, and this being a medium, I mean, it fit, but it just, uh, it's way too long. It's like halfway between the top of my leg and my knee. It's just once again, if these were petite lengths, it might be better. I doubt that I would keep this anyway, just because it's the wrong season. But I wanted to share it with you nonetheless. And this will be going back. This is called Crew Neck Blouse. And this is a medium, and this is more of a six. A little small, um, because I am probably more of an eight uh, for that medium, not the six. And this is in pink, $25. It's really cute. I, and you can see I've zoomed you in a little bit, all the, and it's gold studs around that opening, and I am not a gold person, um, and I'm not about the cutouts, personally, you can see your bra strap, that is not very attractive, uh, in my opinion, um, the sleeves, with the ribbing at the bottom, sort of caught you at the elbow, funny, and the back is just a straight back, um, you know, nothing overly special. I mean, it is cute and, you know, $25, that might be a little pricey, but I love the color. You know, pink is a beautiful color and I do love pink, but, um, this is just not me. So this will be returned also. This is called a, the multi-striped round neck raglan long sleeve sweater, I would assume. And this is a size six, which is their medium six to eight. Um, in pastels, twenty-seven fifty. I don't know about any of you, but I wore stuff like this in the seventies. I, I don't care for this at all, and this is a little snug. I mean, if you're super tiny, maybe if this is your style, this is totally not my style whatsoever. And unfortunately, I love the colors, but it is being returned. This is called the Ember Pullover Sweater, and this is a medium, and this is an eight of a medium in gray, $27.99. This fit, um, I, you can see the sparkle, that's all silver. It's kind of cute, um, except it's just a little bit too long and the bottom ribbing falls at the part of me that I hate the most that I want to disguise and that's my lower belly where I tend to carry some of my weight. So for, I mean, it is adorable. I think the price is fair, $27.99. It's a decent weight, um, sweater still lightweight that you could do it you know spring fall and you could wear it in the winter also um 
but just because of the length and it is a little snug at the bottom ribbing, it is being returned. This is the abstract printed oblong scarf in red. It's more red tones, $19.99, not a bad price. It has pinks and yellows and a little bit of olive green, mainly the reds. I am not a scarf person. This would be like a great pashmina versus a scarf just because it is so huge. I just don't tend to wear them either um, unless I'm super dressed up and it's like that spring fall where it's just slightly chill, but I already have many of them. So I am going to pass on this item also. The last item in my box is pearl centered bloom flower earrings. And these are gold, which is not me. And the whole design is not me. These are $14.99. If this is something you like, um, it's really not bad. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. I think that might give you a better look. I'm trying to give you a close of them. They're, I mean, they're cute. They're just, and the, the post is towards the very top of the flower. Um, I just, I didn't even try them on. I know they're not me with the gold, the whole flower. Um, the pearl part does not bother me, but um, I think these are a miss also. So I wanted to share the um, total with you. The total of the box is $200.44. If I were to purchase all the discount is 25%, I would have saved $50.11. $9.53 in sales tax. So the box total is $159.86. When you think about two bottoms and one, two, three, four, four tops, scarf and an earrings, it's not horrible. Their prices are fairly good. This box um, was a little off on the size sixes. They need to stick with the size eights and I think they would be fine. And they really just need to have more, like that gray sweater was at least a little bit more modern. And with the times, I really don't think the other ones are. I mean, I could be way off, but I don't see clothing like that in any website that I look at. Um, I don't know. This is fit number three for me. And this entire box is a miss from start to finish. Um, so sorry I was not able to do the unboxing part or to try any of this stuff on. I needed to get this filmed tonight because I have to mail this back tomorrow because tomorrow is technically day three. And when I tried to email them before, they just never responded. And I don't want to risk being charged for the entire box when I'm sending everything back. That would just upset me. So please forgive the non-camera appearance and the non-trial, but I at least wanted to show you everything in here. I am going to be sending everything back and I'm going to once again, you know, they did better with the sizing, I feel. There's no dress, which is great. I told them no scarves, but they're still sending the scarves. I don't mind the jewelry. Um, just still a miss on some things. And um, I'm probably only going to give them a few more boxes to see if they can finally get it together. And if not, this, you know, will leave as fast as it came to the channel. I'm just not going to... Um, even though, you know, I am receiving this box so that I can share the clothing with you. Um, you know, my time is, is valuable. And now I now tomorrow have to run to the post office and mail this back when I am not feeling well. So um, that is the hassle part of clothing boxes. Like my stitch fix is going to go back. I'll send that back tomorrow because I have to go with this. I have some birthday cards to mail and a member um, thank you card to mail. So that is no problem. So um that could have waited a few days, but I don't want to risk with this um, because it does say three mailing back in three business days. So I don't want, you know, any problems with this company. So unfortunately, this is a complete miss for me. Um, I'm sure a lot of you would agree personally. Um, I know I'm not making a bad decision because I don't like anything. Um, I did try both of the bottoms on. I tried the gray sweater on. The blue top. I did not try the um, pastel purple striped top. And oh, I tried the pink one on. So I tried everything but that purple one on because I can just tell by looking at it, even if it fit, it was just going to accentuate everywhere. And then the scarf is a, is a no brainer for me to send back and the earrings the same. I wouldn't have even kept them if they were silver. They're just not my style whatsoever. So this is drape fit number three. Um, and we will 
next, you know, when Stitch Fix comes back in and Drape Fit comes back in for box number four, we'll go back to the normal, you know, I'll do the unboxing and we'll do the try on and, and get back to normal on that. Just uh, forgive me for this one. Could not possibly um, pull myself together to get in front of camera. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. I appreciate every one of you. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.